Mm. Once upon a time, there was a great engineer by the name of Mr. Fibbles. Mr. Fibbles sought to make the ultimate ship. The best ship that could ever be. His quest was endless. From searching for thingamabobs to platinum-plated doohickeys, he searched long and far. But he couldn't find the pieces he was looking for until one day he stumbled upon a galactic trash heap. And he was amazed at the treasures that he saw. Here was a doohickey. There was a thingamabob. Everywhere was a whatchamacallit. He was in love. But to his great dismay, the only tool he could ever find was a flimsy plastic spanner. And so, time went by as he searched endlessly for the parts that he needs throughout this the galactic jump field. Far and wide, every time risking this beautiful, flimsy plastic spanner. At any time, it could break. And then he would be lost, unable to get the pieces that he needed. And yet he carried on with great care, with great attention to detail. He couldn't let his tool die, or its death meant the death of his dream. By his gods, Mr. Fibbles would make the ultimate ship. Then he saw a wreckage, almost glowing, lit, and gleaming sparkle of sunlight across the junkyard. He ran, plastic spanner in hand, joyously towards the wreckage, for he knew, he knew what he sought was there. There was no doubt in his mind, his heart was elated, and he ran, and he ran, ever getting closer to the wreckage. But unfortunately, along the way, he stumbled. And out of his hand flew his flimsy plastic spanner, falling in the grate, down the drain. Oh, he woed to himself, if only it had been made out of metal. He could use a magnet to get it out of there. He pushed and pulled at the plas at the grate, but could not get it dislodged. There he sat in dismay, wondering whatever will he do. How could he achieve his dream of the ultimate ship? Until he heard a sound. It was a strange sound coming from the sewer. Suddenly in green, what seemed like a hand reached out of the sewer and in it was his flimsy plastic spanner. Well there, old boy, do you have any mulch? Perchance, I would happily trade you some mulch. For the spanner, said the Funkoid. Mr. Fibbles laughed and said, Give me the spanner, 
Let me build my ultimate chip, and you will have all the mulch your heart desires. And so, the fungoid handed over the spanner, and they both proceeded to the wreckage to fulfill their dream. Well, Mr. Fibble's dream and the fungoid. Mm, two. Excellent.